Look, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Number one, I do things a little bit different than everybody else, and the only way that you're gonna get something that the rest of the world's trying to get is by becoming someone else that they're not. Do you guys get it? All right, everybody, everybody, do me a favor. Number one, I appreciate every, every single one of you. If you see me up here, who in here is married in the room? Raise your hand. Is your wife, your husband, the person you're doing business with with you? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Raise your hand if they're with you. Notice a lot of those people, raise your hand if they're not with you. Okay. Listen, it's your superpower. You guys get it? Look, I'm going to tell you guys something. Number one, I do things a little bit different than everybody else. And the only way that you're going to get something that the rest of the world's trying to get is by becoming someone else that they're not. Do you guys get it? Now today, I'm going to piss a lot of you guys off. You know why? Because I'm going to tell you the fucking truth. And the truth people don't want to hear anymore. We're in an era right now where a lot of you right now, are you good at decision making, yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Good. So one of you that says you're good at decision making, look down and see if you got a six pack. No, 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 I'm being serious. I thought you were good at decision making. Oh, so you're good at making the decisions that you want to make, but you're not good at making all the decisions. That's called half-assing the fucking move. I'm going to tell you guys, four years ago, I started a business, me and my wife. I exited being a W-2 employee, which, by the way, I want to tell every one of you, uh, being a W-2 employee, there's nothing wrong with that. I hated who I was, where I was, and I was looking for something else. And if you can't find it, you build it. Does that make sense? If you can't find it, here, guys, do me a favor, have a seat. Because I know you'll stand up the whole time because I know what I say is going to change your life. But if you don't write anything down, if you don't write anything down, when you leave, you'll leave with nothing. You feel me? So instead of you guys showing me respect, I'd rather have you guys get out of here and change. Okay? And I love you guys. I'm super grateful. By the way, every single one of you right now, the ones of you that can't stay off your phone will never make it. I know. Some of you right now, you came out here to grow today. And those of you that want to change your life, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, but it all starts with the truth. So everybody write this down. Truth and honesty is where real change starts. That's it. You got to write that down because that's the top of my notes. Because everything starts with the truth. I'm the person that calls everybody out that, that gets the most hate on the internet. Now I'm going to tell you guys, if you look at my feed, the comments, you see a lot of people hating on me. I don't see it. I don't even have social media on my phone. I am creating and making the content. I am on a purpose. I'm after something in my life and nothing's gonna stop me. Some of you right now, what is it that's stopping you, right? Is it you look in the mirror and honestly, you don't have the courage, you don't have the strength, you don't have the fire, you don't have the self-belief, the self-confidence. You don't have that because you don't like who the fuck you are. It's the truth. I'm gonna be completely honest. If I was to train everyone in this conference to build a nine-figure company, the first thing that I would do is start with you. Tell me how you can be in charge of your family and be in charge of a company and be in charge of finances if you can't take care of yourself. Somebody tell me. Okay, you can't. It's physically impossible. I watch people in here. You don't like who you are. You don't like what you look like, but you're numb to it. You know what you need to do, but you don't do it. You know why? 
because you only make the decisions you want to make. I will smoke your freaking ass every day. And I'm going to tell you why. You don't have any influence. Write that down. Am I influencing the world? Am I? Are you? Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain. It's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's going to be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Look at your social media channel. It'll tell you. Unless you're playing cat videos, we're in the business space. And if you're in the business space and you're getting 100 million views every 30 days, I'd say you're doing something right. You're getting out there, you're disrupting an industry. Is that what you guys want to do? I mean, whatever you do, do you want to be the very best in the freaking world? Yes or no? Okay. Now, if you want to be the best, you're going to have to influence people. Everybody write this down. People will choose their mentor over money every day. Who you become is a mirror to what the world will give you. Who you become. You're after money. You know what you'll get? You may make it to money, but you'll never change your fucking life. That's what you want? Fine. We'll smoke you. I'm building a new breed. See, the 2024 industry, which is the time we're shooting this right now, we're in the era of the worst leader in the history of the world. You want to know how to win? You want to know how to build more value than you ever imagined in your life? You want the market to choose you as number one? Become the greatest leader on planet fucking Earth. And your family, right? I got my family, my kids are here, okay? If you're with me, you're with me till I die. I hate traitors, fucking hate them. I hate people that can't keep their word. I was once one of these people. I looked in the mirror one day, my wife told me the truth. Some of you guys, when you hear the truth, you're gonna get a decision, you're gonna have a chance to change. This event today, and I don't know who you are, but this event today, one of you, it could be all of you, but at least one of you, will change the world. And I'm here for that person. That's who I'm here for. I know the power that these events have when you use total immersion in your brain. Everybody write down heart power. Heart power is how you gain influence on the world. People got to know you're passionate about something. How many of you in here want to become something in your life? Raise your hand. I always wanted to become something in my life. I always wanted to be special. Do you guys want to be special to other people? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, well, so do I. I want people to love me. But you know what? There's a lot of people out there that when you go and you fuck up and you do shit that you don't want to do and you're running with the wrong people, you know what they do? They hate on you. We are in an era right now where leaders used to tell people, hey, man, you messed up. Don't worry about it. Just come back. Come on, man, come back. We're in an era right now when you mess up, when you go to change, they're like, fuck you, dude. We know what you did. Dude, come meet me now. That guy's dead. They don't care. They want to pin you down. They want to put boundaries on you and draw boxes on you. Fuck the box. I'm dead serious. And by the way, if this isn't how you run, if this isn't the power and the energy that you have, we will dust your ass. Why? Because you have zero influence. You're dead. You're a dead man walking. You're a dead woman walking. I want to ask everybody, write down the date, the last time somebody walked up to you and said, you changed my life. Today. How many of you have this year? Three, five, uncountable, every day. When you walk into an airport, when you walk into the mall, when you're with your family, when you're getting gas, do people walk up to you and go, dude, you changed my life. Thank you for human excellence. Thank you for being the standards. Thank you. You know what I learned? Most of you in here today, and I would say 99.9% .9 of you, including myself, are not where you want to be. When you change, that's called a testimony. And you guys are all rewriting your story in here today. And so my goal is, is the first thing that I wanted to bring to the table is that if you want a different life than everybody else, you're going to have to do things differently than everybody else. And I'm going to walk you through these buckets. 
okay? People label us as a sales trainer, no ways. Dude, we're really good at sales because sales and leadership will get you rich. You're all in sales in here. Isn't sales influence? Isn't it persuasion? Paint pictures, telling stories, selling ideas, selling situations? That's sales. What do, you, what do you do when you communicate with your wife, your husband, your team, your clients? Communication is sales. And you better get good at it because if you're not good at it at sales, guess what? If you don't have influence, no one will want to be like you. No one will follow you. I think people... And, and listen, the data shows, the market shows, people are fucking sick of frauds. See, back in 2020, if you had a private jet and an airplane, everybody wanted to be like you. People that are broke can get private jets. You can go and get an empty leg for 8,500 bucks and go have your video guy roll with you on a private jet and you can show it all over social media. They're sick of your fake ass. Let me explain this to you. I have a real brick and mortar building, Scottsdale, Arizona, 70,000 square feet. We got a giant gym in the building. We got 100 people in our company. You can come see us any day you want. I have a team built on underdogs, misfits, misfits. People that come from nothing end up with the most. We are the bloodline breakers. By the way, if you're in here and you've had good parents, I've got three beautiful kids that are here with me and my wife, and I'm gonna tell you something, those kids, we're breaking the bloodline. Their, their job is to hold the bloodline together when we're gone. So I don't know which side of the fence you're on, whether it's holding the bloodline to get together or breaking it, but I'm here to teach people to break the bloodline. 95% of the people in this world are hurt and they're lost. These people are the most loyal people when trained properly. Every single one of you, I said heart power. I'm going to ask you guys, are you here because you want to make money? Look, dude, making money is cool. You know what's even cooler? Looking in the mirror and being proud of yourself. That's the coolest fucking thing on planet Earth. I've never felt that till I was 39 years old. And I'm telling you guys today, what you think it takes to make it and what it actually takes are two separate things. I want everybody to write that down. What I think, that's what you think it takes to make it and what it really takes are two separate things. So what does it really take? I said people will choose their mentor over money every day. Number one, are you in a relationship with somebody right now? If you are, that relationship that you're with, with that person is a standard for how people should operate in a fucking relationship. You get it? Are you guys a leader, yes or no? Yes. Raise your hand if you're a leader. Now what, if you're not a leader, raise your hand. I wanna see your face if you're not a leader. Leadership is not a position, it's a skill of influence. It's not a position. I don't care your title. I don't care what you do. What I'm asking is, are you a leader? If you're a leader, it's a skill of influence. It means everywhere you go, you're influencing people to be better. Why? Because you're real. You're not a fraud. So if you're in a relationship and you're in this room, I'm going to tell you something. That relationship better be on fucking fire. It better be on fire. And if it's not, you don't get to lead anybody else. Who believes in God? Raise your hand. If you have your hand raised up right now, do you guys want to be a teacher to teach the world how to live in human excellence? Yes or no? Yes. Cool. They say you'll be, you'll be judged harder when you decide to be a teacher. Don't ask God to give you a herd. Don't ask God, give me a $100 million company. I promise you. Give me, give me. You know what it'll say? How are you taking care of your relationship? My wife, me and her together are unstoppable. It's me and her against the world. By the way, in our company, I have 100 guys who are all married, who all have girlfriends. You know what they do? They look up to me and my wife for what that relationship should look like. That's our job. That's our job. How are you doing in your company? There's two people that are in this room. There's entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs. If you're an entrepreneur and you are in here, you say, well, Andy, I don't own my own business. Hey! If you work for an entrepreneur, you can go blow their business up. Don't you want to be in that business and be the example and operate as if it was your money? Dude, if you want to make more money, increase your value. How do you increase your value? By becoming a better leader. How do you become a better leader? It's very simple. Number one, self-lead. What you think you need to do, right? What you think it's going to take and what it's actually going to take are two separate things. What's it going to take? Number one, self-leadership. If I look at you and you're not taking good care of you, I'm not looking up to you, period. I'm, period, I'm not gonna look up to you, I'm not. Listen, get over your little sensitive feelings. Nobody wants to be you if you're out of shape and you're not taking care of you. 
You're mad at me? Get out of here. Go ahead. Keep lying to yourself. Where does change start? With the truth and honesty. Is this really who you wanted to be? Look, don't get mad at me. Ask yourself, is this really who you want to be? Yes or no? Can change. I challenge every single one of you in here, write this down, walking billboard. First thing, before word comes out of your mouth, I got a good mouthpiece on me. You don't even get to hear it if I don't want to look like you, if I don't want to listen to you, and if I don't want to be like you. Ready? So we're going to write this down. It's a new era. It's a new era. If I don't want to be you, I'm not going to listen to you. You guys want scraps or you want the whole thing? You want the whole thing? Good. You're going to have to get ready to go to war. Go to war on mediocrity. Go to war on average. You guys think about it. Do you got an average body or an elite body? Well, show it. Whoever said elite, come up here and take your shirt off. Let me see. No, but we got one guy. I got one guy. I got one elite person in the room. Any, anybody else elite in the room? I got one elite person. See, all of a sudden, you got to show one elite person. All right, he's elite. We got an elite guy over here. We got an elite, but we got three elite people, right? Four right here. You're good, buddy. We don't have to come up here and break dance. Just take it off. We're good. This isn't Magic Mike. Okay, he's like, let me get, let me get up here. Let me get my shit ready. Hey, that's my boy. You just got to, hey, there, hold on. There's four people. Am I right? Where's the rest of you? No, 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 no. That's called truth. You know what I learned? Listen to me. Who in here wants to make a lot of money? Raise your hand. Do you want to know how to make a lot of money? You got to respect pennies before you get dollars. Am I right? My wife set me down one day and she goes, we're going to need to tighten up. If we're really going to get these big things you want to get, me and, my, me and my wife are debt free. Everything's cash. We owe nobody a dollar. We'll never owe anybody a dollar. We don't have money issues because we are disciplined with our money. We are disciplined with everything, with our relationship, with our kids. We ain't perfect. I'm a sinner saved by God's grace. I'm freaking lost. Remember, Jesus, he said he, he did what? He left the 99 to chase the one. If you're in this room and you're up see this mind you guys got issues you guys can you guys can become one of the most dangerous weapons on planet earth because I'm living proof see Jackie's not as screwed up as me and Jackie listen she's screwed up too no no no. we're both screwed up and that's how we're dangerous we don't want to be perfect we don't pre pretend to be perfect we tell our teams we're gonna fuck up every day but you know what? One thing that we'll never do, we'll never cheat, we'll never steal, we'll never betray you, ever. We will never betray you until we die. If we say we're doing it, we're doing it. No matter what it costs, it doesn't matter. What does that mean? That's called standards. My biggest goal with all of you in here today is to have you guys look at your own life for just a minute and just look for the holes for a second. If you're in a relationship, right? Look, dude, there's a line of people that want what you're after. Why you? Why are you going to be the best in the industry? Dude, there's a line of people. Are you guys together? Are you guys together, though? There's a line of people that want her. Yeah. Are you number one? Are you treating her? There's a line of people that may want him. How are you taking care of what's important to you? You know what I learned? Everyone in this world right now is average. It's disappointing to me it's heartbreaking but it's never been easier to win and that's why I need all of you in here to do me a favor I want you to listen to this one thing you got to be different you got to stand out you got to become the truth you can't be a fraud anymore you got to kill every bit of weakness in your life you got to learn to be a master communicator you got to own your shit when you fuck up Dude, these little things will make you a multi, multi, multi millionaire. These little things. My wife, we go everywhere together. I don't go into a business meeting without her. You know why? Women have this crazy intuition. They always know. Some of you guys are figuring that out. Maybe you haven't done it yet. If you're in a relationship, it's not that she's right every time. She's normally right. But she has an intuition when something's wrong. There's two things that kill a man. One not having a brotherhood. 
If, if, if a man isn't surrounded by the right men, listen, women, you're like, no, I'm going to be, you know, my man is good. No, 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 no. Your man needs to be around other men that respect their wives, that love their wives, that want to go home and be marriage millionaires, that want to fall more in love with their wives every day, that want to go and be badasses, that also want to be great parents, that want to be physically fit, that want to be good leaders, that don't want to lie. Your husband needs to be with those people. Same for women. Okay, men, your wives need to be around women like that. Does that make sense? You're a product of your environment. Hey, you guys want to make money? Watch this. See, my fingers are open. From 18 to 39 years old, made millions of dollars. It all fell through my fingers. Anybody ever been there? Make a bunch of it, slides right through your fingers. You know why? I wasn't who I needed to be. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's going to be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. My number one thing in here is to tell you, if you really want what you say you want, it's time to run a new play. Wipe out the computer system, delete it, restart. Who's in charge of your life? You are. Guys, some of you in here, you're thinking of every single reason why you can't do what it is that I'm telling you. You can do all these things. You got to make a decision. Listen, you're gonna get laughed at either way. You're gonna get laughed at when you fuck it all up and you lose it in a couple years. You know, I know a lot of people right now that are ass broke that made a lot of money for three or four years. I wanna make money for decades. I wanna help people for decades. Do you guys wanna get off the plane, go to get on a plane? Do you guys wanna go somewhere and have people running up to you saying you changed my life, yes or no? Do you guys want that? Do you understand money can't buy you that? Do you understand that? Okay, cool. So for those of you that want to make a lot of money, when you become that, you make money. But if they're not doing it, you're not going to make money. Why? Because the greatest, scarcest resource on planet Earth is a leadership. That's it. What is a leadership? Is there an on and off switch on leadership? Or is it, I'm going to be like this until they bury me in the ground? Till they bury you in the ground. What if someone tries to get you to sell out? What if someone tries to get you to go back on your word? Fuck you. What if it costs you a million bucks? Who gives a shit? Why are you selling your soul out, man? I know people that are soulless. Every time you don't stand up for what you believe in, every single time, you're morally teaching someone else to fucking do the same thing. I swear to God, when I tell you this, when I was 39 years old, I quit my job, went home to Jackie. She said she learned to live without me, which I say this all the time. She also called me chunky, which I fucking was. I wasn't living the standard. You know what I did? I went to the drawing table and I recreated my identity. Every one of you right now, you see this thing you have in your head? You know the beautiful thing about being alive? If you don't like who you are, draw a line in the fucking sand and change right now. Dude, who in here can build, and think about this, build a nine-figure business in three or four years? They said it was fucking impossible. You know what I'll tell you? If what you want in life isn't impossible, you're wasting your life. I'm dead serious. If what you want in your life isn't impossible, you're wasting your life. It better scare the shit out of you. I'm going to ask every one of you a question. If you really want what you say you want, what are the buckets that you need to become great in? Number one, your physical fitness. You got to be a walking billboard. I don't, I'm not asking you to be a bodybuilder. Okay? The way that you take care of yourself and the way that you look shows me the way that you make decisions for you. You want to tell me how to make decisions? I don't even need to talk to you about what decisions I need to make for me. I can see the way that you make them for yourself. Am I correct? Yes or no? Yeah, people, well, they won't answer it. You know what? You're out. You're going to get beat out by someone else who will. Secondly, if you're in a relationship, guess what? 
without any money involved. If you're going to be in that relationship, you guys better be marriage millionaires. You know what that means? Work fucking shit out together. The hardest thing you'll ever do in this life is build a relationship. If you're going to compete with me in a business and me and you are the exact same, we're the exact same in skill, but I got a great home life and your home life is screwed up, I'm going to dust your ass. You'll eventually burn out. I see men every day, eyes fucking water up, hearts broken. Their family lives are trash. And you know what we do? We go deeper into work. Am I right? We go deeper into work because trying to fix this, it's like so hard. Why? Who are you trying to please? Dude, who are you trying to please? That's a big one. Jackie used to ask me all the time. I was trying to please the wrong people for way too long. Team, you guys saw a little bit of my team come out here, right? Let me ask you a question. If you're going to do anything in life of any significance, will you need a team, yes or no? Yes. Bet your ass you'll need a team. You'll need a badass fucking team. You will need a family. You will need a company to go to war for these things that are going to be tough. Listen to me. Will you be remembered? You know, I got my toe cut off when I was four years old. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember when I graduated high school, barely. I remember, I remember, I remember when I made my first commission check when I was 18 in sales. I remember when me and Jackie got together when I was 26. It was yesterday. I remember when me and her, right, started her business yesterday. And then I'm sitting here today with you guys. Next thing you know, they're gonna be fucking burying me. And they're gonna be burying you too. So my question is, when will we wake up? When will you realize that life is just a flicker? It really is, am I right? Yes. Do you guys understand that? I mean, you guys get that, right? It's just, it's just that fast. Doesn't it, can't you remember these things and now they're gone? Eric, your son's 11, 12, he's be 22, 35, gone. What are you doing right now? To be honest with you, what are you doing? Is it creating any value? Is it? Are you changing anyone's life? Is it? Can I ask you a question? When you run around, right? And I'm going to drink some water because it looks like I'm losing my voice, which I don't understand that because I yell every day at everybody. <clears throat> but listen to me. Hey, do you guys get it? Yes or no? Okay, so watch this. How important is it to be the standard, most important thing on planet Earth? Okay, I'm going to ask a question. Who in here wants to build a brand? Raise your hand. Okay, are you ready for this? Do they want to be you? The market tells you who likes you and who doesn't. Am I correct? Do they want to be, do they want to be you? Okay, in our company, we have a rev board. Every day I watch the rev board. On social media, I have a rev board, right? Every day I see it. How many views we get? What's going on? What does your rev board on social media show you? Here's what I'll tell you. Who you become will determine what you get. It's a mirror, okay? Every day I talk about Jacqueline, my wife, on social media. Every day, men, every day. Every day, every day. Why? Well, if you're married, what's more important, making more money or your family? But why do you not talk about your family? I'm just kind of confused. All I hear you talk about is success tips. You want to know the inside of my company and my home? We walk in the house and we say, baby, we are growing our marriage today. See, a lot of you think this is fucking stupid. You do, you're like, well, I wanna make money. You creating a broken family will lose all of your money. Am I right, yes or no? Right. You creating a broken family will ruin your kids. Am I right, yes or no? 70% of entrepreneurs 
bring more stress on their families than their families can handle. And they end up getting disconnected. They sleep in the same bed, they're miles apart. And they don't even know how to communicate anymore. Am I right? Yes or no? Somebody tell me why we're doing it all wrong. You want to know why we built a nine-figure business? You want to know why we're on our way to a billion-dollar company? You want to know why we get 100 million views more every 30 days? I'm going to tell you what I think. And I'm going to tell you what's worked for me. I fucking love my wife to death. My kids go everywhere with me. I love my kids. I love being a dad. I don't want to be a fucking pushover. I don't want to be like anybody else. I learn from everybody, but I don't see anybody taking their family with them. Everybody's leaving their family behind. Why can't they go too? If you got kids, shouldn't they learn the same stuff you're learning? What are they too young to motivate? What are they too young to invest in? Like, what are we fucking doing? Why are we, why are we so lost? And see, I have to remind, I have a brotherhood, right? And these are seven, eight, nine figure earners. They're all in there. I got about 250 guys and gals with their wives and their families. And you know, like when Eric came out here, what's the first thing I text you? I said, where's Shyla? Yep. And he goes, oh, they're coming on the next one. I said, better not happen again. We're so used to this game. How many times do you want to start over? Just how many times? Name it. How many times do you want to fucking start over? I swear on my life, if somebody like me that one day wanted to be special, wanted to be somebody, and Jackie one day tells me, hey, you're fucking comfortable. You're, you're just like everybody else. You're mediocre. You're not taking good care of your body. I know, listen, men, women, I know how important it is to take care of yourself. Can I ask everybody a question? If you put yourself first and took better care of yourself, couldn't you take better care of everything else? Yes. Why are we f***ing this up? Somebody tell me. Why? No, no, it's just because we're not being the leader. You guys got to make a decision today. You may not have one good person in your life. Then you be the good person in your life. Me and Jackie built the Elliott Group. There was no other blueprint. You know what they told us? Don't get too close to your people. You know what they told us? No. They told us that, you know, we couldn't be close to people. They told us that, you know, you can't treat people like your family in business. You can't tell them everything. We tell them everything. We're so transparent. Guys, we tell them everything. And you know what? If you got something in your heart and you want to build something big, you're going to need people. And if you want to find the people that are like you, you must decide what do you stand for. Is physical fitness a part of your journey moving forward? Yes or no? Okay. Number two, do you want to be the guy that works out but doesn't look like he works out? No. That's called food. I'm dead fucking serious. Get your eating right. Can I ask you a question? If I put a piece of grilled chicken in front of you and then I put a cheeseburger, grilled chicken's gonna get you lean, your body's gonna look good, cheeseburgers won't. If you can't make that simple decision, how can I trust you'll make the right decisions in business? How can I trust? You say, well, that's hard. Dude, if you're gonna build anything big, it's gonna be very, very, very hard. Am I right? So I don't want to, I don't want to trust anybody that can't take care of themselves. Now, here's what I'll tell you. You make a decision today, today, whatever you stand for, you become right fucking now. Patrick Ben David, he's a guy I look up to a lot. He talks about this thing called future truth. It's called future truth. He goes, I don't care what the truth is. What do you want the truth to be? So. Everybody, think right now, what do you want it to be? You want to have a, a, a total body recomposition? You want to build your body, look amazing? You want to be a corporate athlete, business athlete, male or female, yes or no? Yes. Right now, every decision you make will tell me if that's really what you wanted or not. Listen, you want to change a lot of people's lives? You want to, you want to make a lot of money? You want to build a big ass business? 
when you transform and change, everyone's going to have your name in their mouth and they're going to be like, what the f*** is going on over here? Okay? One of my brotherhood members, his wife, we did a six-month uh, workout deal with her, just a, a dieting plan. Dude, she had zero followers on Instagram. Zero, maybe three people, okay? We literally transformed her over six months. She went to 180,000 followers. Listen, what does that mean? If you're not growing and you want to build your brand, it's because no one wants to be you. Do you guys want to regurgitate old information over and over again? Show them how, show them how you live, okay? So... The biggest thing is, if you want to build a brand, you got to be different. It's a revolution out there, guys. Okay? It used to be the employees work for the owners, and the owners have the employees, but now there's a third kind of person. And it's called the artist, the inner genius. What do you want? You can create it right now in this world. Listen, if you're working for a company, I'm going to ask you a question. If you were ever going to build your own business and blow it up, wouldn't you be able to blow up someone else's business, yes or no? Yeah, but so many of you keep trying to start on your own. You're like, I'm going to go build my own shit. Dude, you can't even blow someone else's shit up. If you're an entrepreneur and you're in this room, you can become a multi, multi, multi millionaire blowing up an entrepreneur on the inside. No risk. No getting sued, no issues. Who in here is an entrepreneur? Raise your hand. Who in here is an entrepreneur? Raise your hand. You work for someone else. Raise your hand. You know what I would choose if I was you? Entrepreneurs are cool. Entrepreneur. If you're not going to take care of yourself, go be an entrepreneur. Get your family back. Get your life back. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to give up your family to go make money? Is it worth it? Yes or no? You said, yeah? No. No. Is it worth it to make money and give your family up? Yes or no? Okay. So let's go back to identity. Everybody ready? Future truth. What do you want to look like? How do you want people to see you? How do you view the world? How do you want the world to view you? People will choose, people will choose their mentor over money. I get a thousand DMs a day. If you have a company in here and you want to recruit a badass team, don't you think you must be a badass? Yes or no? Okay. If you fuck one person, will it come to haunt you? Yep. Dude, listen. The greatest thing you can ever do in your life is keep your word. Super important, guys. If you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's going to be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. So since 39, here's what I did. This is all I changed. Number one, I'm super fucking passionate. I'm super passionate. I wouldn't have lost my voice if I didn't love you guys so much. But I want to fucking drill it inside your head that this is the most important thing you'll ever do is make a decision to change. And by the way, when's enough enough? When's enough enough? When, 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 but like, when are you going to get fucking sick and tired of saying, this is my year, this is my month, this is my thing? And it never happens. My wife had this thing she said to me. She goes, Andy, you're one dimensional. One dimensional. What does one dimensional mean? You're good at one thing, but all the other things are going to the side. You know what I was good at? Making money, work. You know what I wasn't good at? Being present at home when I was at home. I was never present. You know what I wasn't good at? Being present with my kids. I was always thinking about the business. You know what's going to happen? They're going to grow up and they're not going to have anything to do with you. Some of you right now, you're in that place and your kids are already growing up. You've already fucked that up. You're on your second divorce and you're like, dude, 
I just keep going through this cycle. Every one of you are in some form of a cycle, okay? The key is to, to recognize something's coming up before it comes up. So if you take care of yourself, we operate differently, yes. So rule number one, your job is to take care of yourself before you take care of anyone else. May sound selfish, it's not. Do you think Jackie can take care of me if she's not taking care of herself? No. Can I take care of her if I'm not taking care of me? No, watch this. Let's say me and her, my identity is in her because she's my wife and her identity is in me. What happens when she's lost and I'm looking into her, I can't save her because I'm, I'm lost with her. Does that make sense? Same thing with her. Jackie needs to know who the f she is. So when I'm having a bad day and I'm lost, she's like, hey, come here. I see that crazy itch in your eye. I see that thing that's got us in trouble before in the past. I see that. Get out. You don't want to go there. We've already been down that road. We know what happened. Get the f back here. I need her to be ready. Does that make sense? Okay. This is why the marriage is the most important thing on planet Earth. If you're in a relationship with somebody, no, it is. If you're in a relationship, see, everybody undervalues this. And by the way, if you're single and you're not in a relationship, if you're not in one, you're going to be in one one day. I remember there was this time I went to church. Me and her were getting along like never before. And he was talking about how to fight, fight fair. And I was like, oh man, we came to the wrong service. No, because like, we're good. Two weeks later, I was like, wish I fucking paid attention. Because we're fighting. You know what I'll tell you? This, this is the home. The home is wherever we are. This is our home here. We're together. Our kids are here. You can take your family with you everywhere. If you want to build a life that will last a lifetime, listen to me, last a lifetime. Number one, you must always take care of yourself until your last breath. Every day, Five days a week, you must be in the gym, you must be exercising, you must go for walks, you must get outside in the sun, you must eat healthy until they bury you in the ground. Do you understand? Right. Listen, if you can't do it, then stop saying that you want this badass life. Just stop saying it, okay? Stop saying it. We're sick of your false fucking promises. We're sick of your fake ass commitments, okay? Also, my children, don't you guys want, who's got children? Raise your hand. You guys want your children to admire you and look up to you, yes or no? Yes. You know what I'm willing to bet? Most of the people that raise their hands, you're, you're, you're not your kid's hero. I'm not, I know, fucking people get upset, they get mad, but you're not your kid's hero. Could you imagine the people that didn't raise their hands? You guys are going to have children one day, right? You want to have kids, right? One day, one day. Hey, if you don't, it's cool. But that's your legacy. Well, guess what? Are you going to be their hero? You know what I realized? This is crazy. My kids, I wasn't their hero. I was a fucking dad, just like everybody else, going to work, coming home, bringing fucking leftovers, no fucking energy, getting out of shape, fucking me and her are fighting and stressed out, pleasing the wrong people trash. How did this happen? You know how it happened? Nobody had the courage to tell me the truth. A lot of you right now should be living different lives than you're living. I'm not saying you should be working somewhere else. I'm saying you should be doing what you're doing now differently. If you want to be, if you want to make more money, you want to be more efficient, you want to be better than what you're currently doing, you don't quit your job. My goal isn't to have you get out of here and be like, this. I'm going to start a new business. No, you're not. You're going to go back and do whatever it is that you came here. Whatever you're doing, you're going to go home and do it differently. You're going to go home. And if you're telling someone that like, if Jackie, I promised her the ride of a lifetime when she married me. Do you guys understand how this works? I tell her she don't get to sleep with any other guys. She's going to be with me. And then I don't get to sleep with any other girls and I'm going to go be with her. And then we're literally going to build this family together. And she trusts me so much to give her this 
journey. And then she says, yes, I marry her. And then we become like everyone else in the world. That's how most people treat businesses. That's how most people treat everything. Guys, just so you're aware, the devil attacks what's valuable. Right. Every fucking one of you in here, whatever is most valuable, he's coming after. It's your kids. It's, it's your marriage. And by the way, you may not think that, by the way, I'm talking to you, I'm a Christian. I am a Christian. I'm just not going to be like all the other Christians out there. I'm saved by the same grace as you. I got a clean heart. I'm, I'm sharing it with you. You know what I do? I chase the lost. Every fucking day I chase the lost. We make a lot of money. We got everything we need. I'm surrounded by good people. I'm 45 almost. I'm in good shape. Me and my wife have sex once or twice a day, every day. I got a good life. You know how I built it? Sat in a fucking chair just like you guys are doing today. Made a decision. I'm not letting my family down anymore. Over my fucking dead body, am I going to wake up one more day, look in that fucking mirror, and guess what? I take my old self outside every day and I shoot myself in the head mentally. You know how many times I wanted to quit? You know one thing, my kids are never going to see that their dad's a quitter. Could you imagine your kids seeing that their mom or dad is a fucking quitter? My wife seeing me as a quitter? No ways. I ain't never going to fucking quit. I was built for this shit. And a lot of you in here are built for it. And you're a lot, and you're a lot fucking tougher than you're acting. And by the way, you're going to get betrayed. You're going to have people fuck you over. You're going to get screwed over. When they do, you know what you do? Love harder. I've had people betray me before. You know what I do? I love the people that are loyal to me even more. I want to tell you guys something. Ready? This is, this is my advice to you. Are you ready? You want to build something that no one ever imagined that you could build your whole life. Okay, here's how you do it. You got to change your perspective. You got to change your lenses. You got to start seeing the world differently. That's number one. Number two, you got to clean your heart out. You got to make sure there's no darkness. You got to make sure there's no evil in your heart. Okay? Number three, you got to change your intentions. Okay? I used to, make, wanna make, I used to want to make money. Now I just want to change people's lives. And man, listen, man, I hear people all the time. I just want to change people's lives. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. Stop. If you really do, then listen to what I'm saying. Become this, and I promise you, the herd will be given to you, and God will give you whatever you want. But you must become the walking billboard, the, the human example, the standard. You must become it. You got to become what you're telling everybody else that they can become. How the fuck can you give me something that you're not actually doing yourself? Like, like tell me. And that's why people are so sick of that. Blah, 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 blah. They want to walk up and be like, fuck, that guy's got it. Perspective, heart. And ready? See this mind? Alter your identity. Future truth. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Find someone you want to be. And guess what? Don't stop until you become them. Matter of fact, believe that you're that person right now. And guess what? That lie, one day it won't be a lie anymore. Won't be a lie. I remember when we were broke, and we'll finish on this, but we were broke, me and Jackie... I ain't never made more than $2 million in my life when I was 39 years old. I want, to, I want you to hear this. Because if you want to make money, I'm going to leave you with your money. I ain't never made more than $2.5 million. I was 39 years old. It was 2019. Me and her, I told Jackie that I wanted to change. And she wanted me to change. And maybe today you're fucking ready for a change. When you really make a decision to change, your eyes will change. The eyes are the window to the soul. You can look at anybody's eyes and see if they're real. And Jackie saw my eyes were real, and you know what she said? She goes, I'm going to support you to become the man you need to become. We sold our house. Uh, we sold all our furniture. We went and slept on mattresses for about two years in a rent house. We went dark. Maybe it's time for some of you guys to go dark. We literally recreated ourselves. We became good people. We put our marriage first. We got close to our children. I reset. I don't know where you're at in life, but I'm going to tell you this. 
That's the play you run is you get close to everything that's important to you. We started our business. I got on social media. I never, Jackie's like, hold the camera like this. Say, hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. I'm like, Fuck. I mean, I feel stupid. And she's like, Andy, someone's on the other side of that camera. Okay, stop thinking about you. This ain't about you. It's about them. And by the way, we must become who we tell them they can become. And that was our whole coaching company. We started out with me and her, two ups, totally getting right in life and getting close. And then we were like, dude, what a great life. We're going to go teach other people how to do this. And next thing you know, we look up, it's 2024. I mean, I'm going to fast forward to now. We have everything we've ever wanted. Everybody bet against us. Everybody laughed at us. I have more hate comments on the internet than I know what to do with. You know what I know? We're changing millions of lives. And every one of you in here, every one of you, all of you, every one of you, you can start the same journey. You can go do whatever you're doing at work and go and kill it. And anybody that runs into you, you can leave them better off than when you found them. And dude, listen to me. Don't ever let anything negative come out of your mouth because you're the gatekeeper to your mind. And if you let it in your mind, that's why it's coming out your mouth. Surround yourself with people like this. If you do this, everybody in this room will make fucking history, okay? So I, I love you guys. I want to tell you, if you want to do something no one's ever been able to do, you got to become something no one thinks that you could become. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to fucking say shit to you that's mean. Guess what? Bet against me, motherfucker. That's what you need to say to yourself. They don't even deserve a word just inside your head. Say, bet against me, motherfucker. Or bet against me. When you don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. to work out, bet against me. Bet against me, bitch. Come on. When you're going to eat that f***ing cheeseburger, bet against me, motherfucker. You don't think I'll get a six-pack? Bet against me. You don't think my wife, me and her can recover from our problems? Bet against me. You don't think I stopped being a drug addict? Bet against me. I f***ing love it. It's fuel. It should motivate you. So I'll tell you, we're in a world right now where everybody, everybody in this world needs you guys to step up today. And so I'm with you guys. I love you guys. I'm grateful for you. We're going to have Bradley up next. I know that he's going to make fun of me the whole fucking time, which is cool. Okay. So I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast. And I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below. Click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.